Yo. Online. What's good in the hood? It's your boy, Impala. I just have the alternate name going on right now. Because. Why not? Um. I've been trying to find ways to be more consistent. But in that. Like, I've been so focused on just like a handful of things that I just completely forgot my fundamentals. But this is all for the sake of improving before Dallas. Because I'm kind of noticing. Like, my confidence is really low in certain scenarios. Just in general. So, I kind of need to get rid of it. So, I'm going to practice exactly what I've been talking about in Ranked. And see how it checks out. Oh, he's on Jayon. Didn't even realize. Honestly, I think Jayon's one of the better great sword characters. His weapon's just solid. Or like his, his secondary is just solid. Sword's alright. Great sword and sig is like it's just it's just convenient. Hmm. Oh dodge. We're doing way too good. So far. So far I've hit just about everything. I feel like I kind of just have this whole adaptation thing in the bag. I think. Yeah, the whole dodge on hit thing is... It gets really predictable. Wow, they killed. It's a good sick, I just didn't think it was it was that good. It didn't have a force fall off like um Mosati 6. I'm not Mosati 6, but more like side side sig, that's what I was referring to. Back. Nice. I'm dropping side like D-Light, not even D-Light, sir. Well, it's definitely my best stock. Actually, reading just about everything. My on hit is just, or my de my defense is just kind of low. Just seen that one coming. Oh right, side light, D light, D light is like a, it's like a combo now, but it's like very inconsistent. This guy gives himself no room to just like attack, I feel like. Or he gives himself no time like between attacks. It's just kind of all the same. Victory. Player two wins. Not bad, GG's conspiracy. Oh, but guys, I got my certification for informational technology well, not the full thing but it was like the first course and turns out that's actually all i need like once you have the fundamentals you can kind of just look for a job with that and just start from there like get a remote job all that jazz but i wonder like what does getting a job have to do with my brawl career like exactly how involved does it get because I wanna, I wanna start, but I fear that it might.
It, it might just affect me. Well, let's go. We've got our first alt account. probably be moving a lot less or, fl or playing spear anyways like with bow and spear as long as you're in the middle of you kind of get to move like a robot this guy plays very fast hmm. I gotta close that space cool I caught the dodge too Dash D-Light is, on, on Spears, it hits really far away, but that's the thing, it hits really far away. And Spear D-Light has always been really wonky. Like, it doesn't hit in the same angle, it's like... It's not 45 degrees, but it's like 25 or something. Hard to, hard to describe. But it just doesn't hit the same way. It's something like Bow and Light or Axe D-Light. I didn't dodge the, the first time on hit. Let's see if he. I'll see if he adapts, but if he doesn't, then that's fine too. Hmm. He did the same thing twice. He tried to like come up and come up to stage with an early attack, but I'm not there. And if I am there, I retreat very easily because I don't have any hitboxes like thrown out. Land? Oh, he didn't land with an aerial. Weird. Keeping the pressure going. I'm actually doing pretty good. There you go. This playstyle is too rushed down. It was the same problem with the last player. Where they just wouldn't give themselves much time to attack. And once you give yourself less time, you start to play way too fast for your own good. I was gonna see where that was going. So I'm like, not bad. This looks like the type of player you just can't really rush into. Like, he kind of just. He, like, sticks out those hip hitboxes for you. He, like, takes them out. It's like, it's too aggressive. If he wants to find an opening, he can't, he can't be rushing in that much. Yeah, what's with the, what's with the burn dodges? Not really, I'm not that threatening. Doomed. As soon as he got close enough and he wasn't going for Darrow, it's time to just go for the recovery. Oof, this might be doomed. Oh, he double lift. Okay. We'll keep that in mind. And double lift is just when you repeat the same attack twice. Uh, the same or a different attack as long as you're just in the same position. He did it again. Didn't do it that time. It's just situational. If I'm like close enough, he'll do it. 
Oh, nice. <laughs> you did exactly that. Nice. Finally. It, like an actual teachable example I can show like the people, the, the viewers, the audience, you guys. I jumped away this time. Weird. It's a lot of jumps. That's fair. I have. I don't have that many windows. Like from the front. That's Sword's job. Dodge? No. So for another edge guard. That's starting to change. He's going for jump dodges on whiff instead of double whiffing. Good game. He stays really close, and when he's really close, he doesn't even attack. It's not a bad thing, but he's waiting on the wrong stuff. Came in for the run back. <laughs> Man, that's such a fire title. One in one hundred million. Three, two, one, brawl. Since we're playing unarmed, naturally you have to move around a lot more. But once you pick up bow and spear, I just prefer to stay in the middle, and then I start moving like a robot. I actually caught his dodge. Whenever I get into the space off stage, he kind of just dodges up, or he just might dodge in general. That's a rough assumption to have. He might just dodge up. Are you stupid, bro? Not a bad attempt. Just could have done better. Once you lose stage on either of these weapons, it becomes really hard, especially into string weapons. Not bad. It's like getting in pretty easily. Double nair. Catch a dodge. Recovery. There. And light. Dodge again. Sideline and sick. Oh my god. right there technically I had a perfect stock but it's like I still missed so it's lame yo I dodged way too early you're not supposed to dodge in that case where you go against your ground pounds at least not that early because then they could double whiff into another move. On the alternative though, if you're playing Spear, you could use it to catch the to catch the dodge. Like in the case that they might have to touch the wall, you just push them away. Sending them down on Spear, I feel like, just gives you less of a window because you don't have you don't have any other option. You just have Dare and Groundhog, which are both very risky. Especially for, especially for anybody who plays Spear and plays just in general. Because you're not supposed to exercise disadvantage. You're supposed to exercise state control. Oh, great. One thing I was really happy about, like, maybe like two weeks ago, is getting 5k subscribers. You guys are awesome. Couldn't, 
gonna ask for a cooler fan base because everybody talks like me like they all type the same way they might just have the same behavior which is which is nice it's like it's relieving in a way still not sure what to do for 5k but but since then I like I changed my my drip on YouTube <laughs> so it's purple now instead of white We got UT from Bread Mafia. I recognize just about every clan that we've queued into so far. Three, two, Mordex, one, still one of my favorite matchups. I've been practicing this one for so long. I'm gonna double whiff, but I can't. Not bad. A lot of his setups are in the air, so we're gonna have to anti air him. Yeah, I cannot be jumping into him. He seems very prepared for it. He's close, so we could actually go for that. There? No. Alright, so we actually caught it. Cool. We're gonna play Spear into Gauntlets. Spear into gauntlets is like super dominant for spear it's just one of those weapon matchups alright he's too high for d light so I'm gonna go for Nair I suppose wow I thought I jumped above that and I did but I got hit by the, the hitbox that sticks out a little bit further. Ugh, I got. I put. I have to punish more. You almost caught that. Since he stays too close, I have to like fend them off with aerials. Jump. Cool. We'll keep that in mind for next time. He jumped in my direction. D light. So we have a better idea of what's going on. He's like reeling into me in disadvantage. And for the most part, his setups just involve him being really close, but like, he doesn't actually attack until later. Ugh, why am I jump dodging? It's not like he's reading it. Come on, yes, gauntlets. Hopefully I have screwed this wrong. Do I? I do. Come on. Nothing. Side suit. This is not the position I want to be in. Okay, cool. The dare weapon throw. What a great setup. It catches all of those who like jump away or just try to get an extra chance of recovering. The only way that they can get back up is if they is if they dodge. And in most cases they already burnt it. Mordex is one of the most figured out characters in the game, but I truly do not think he's the best. For some reason though, he's like claimed to be like top five, three even. I don't know. I just don't think he's that great. Small double whiff. Is it enough? I can just bully him with aerials. Let me see if I can like if I can force a dodge out of him like I did just now. And from what it's looking like, I guess that's the game plan. Turn him off with aerials. Get the get somehow get him to just get the dodge and. Just get the dodge in neutral. I 
he uses too many resources at a time. And it's not helping him because it's not it's not being used for any particular reason. Ooh, I should have done something about that. Yeah, no one's to jump. Quick parry. There's a wake up parry too. Okay. You hear me? I see not dodging anymore. Yeah. Defensive offstage maneuvering. I almost got my delay jumped like red. I dodged. Ooh, that was not a good idea. I don't know why I did that. Just go, just go for a dodge. When this guy does, hasn't went for like a single continuous attack off stage, and if he did, it was only once. Oh, I thought I could get away with it. Well, technically, I did. All right. Alright guys, gotta do one more set, and as soon as this video is over, I'm gonna go to the barbershop and get myself a haircut. Next up we got Dragon Air, playing Nash. Dude, Nash is so underrated, but I understand why people don't play him. Alright, since he's playing Spear, reminder that our objective is to kind of just keep him away from the stage as much as possible. Alright, well, the double lift didn't work, so. No dodge away. But well, he's still dodging, so. Still not bad to go and tr attempt to read one. This guy moves very laggily on my screen. Hmm. Maybe this might not be the last one. And by the way, it, it's not that I'm not practicing, but I just don't put my practice into ranked. Because ranked, as as cool as it might be, still doesn't replicate the same environment as the tournament. And it's not the it's not the game's fault. However, it's like, meh, it's just not the same. To kind of like be in the custom lobby. Do a best of five even. Like it's not this it's just not it's just not the same as ranked. And I've been doing best of fives recently just to kind of benchmark myself instead of spar. I should probably still be practicing, right? Technically I still should be practicing what I'm what I'm working on. I think maybe by the time I upload this video, I'm going to take a break and I'm going to focus more on practicing for Dreamhack Dallas. Recently, I've just been losing non-stop. And to Luna, like online, it's like it's been a disaster. Like it's just like consistent second. And as much as I'd love to be like, oh yeah, it's just, it's just land bro. Mm-mm. -mm. The same asterisks still apply, like, at LAN. Surely there's something, like, to read there. I, I honestly don't even know, because when I'm on LAN, like, every thought that could be racing my mind in an online tournament just disappears when I'm at LAN, because I paid to be there. So, like, I'm just thinking a lot more, because, well, you don't go to LAN that often. And if you do go to LAN that often, it's definitely, it's definitely not to fool around, I feel like. Like, I'm, like, kind of just preventing myself from being super disappointed in my, um, my efforts. Um, next up, we got Bop from that clan. <laughs> that clan. Three, two, one, brawl! He's 
Is he good? Alright. Orion's basically on the same energy as my character. Keep him away from the stage. I can somewhat land with an aerial. I just kind of have to stay close. Almost there. Nice. It's it's easier to understand the ranges if you're in the center. Last fall, nice. Bro, I, it, I'm so done with the right players. What is he doing? <laughs> For anybody who's lower elo that just doesn't know at all, any player that like jumps in place and they're waiting for the for the D6 setup. And it's, and it's one of the most obvious but inevitable like deaths that you could possibly face if you're if you fight against the right player. Wow, perfect stock, not bad. Wait, no, I, I don't think it was. Whatever. All I know is I didn't get hit that much. We're good. Hold stage. It's doing a bit too long. No extra jump, just another fast fall. Good game. All Play right. Come on. Come on. <laughs> he heard me. Three, two, one, brawl. Working with high strength is pretty hard. You have less speed. Oh, that's us. Well, you know, you don't have to have less speed, but with Zol specifically. This kind of a hassle. I gotta keep him away. So, with cannon and axe, it's it's the same. Like, they're they're also playing for stage control. Cannon's playing more for the hit and like the dodges, but with both axe, it's like mostly stage control. So they can afford to actually miss. They're gonna be playing more for the hit as well. So I just gotta understand that they're gonna be playing closer naturally. And I am not getting my footing. Dodge. It's just dodge on whiff. It, like, I don't say that he's gonna dodge away, bro. That's it's it's silly to say that. Because there's eight dodges in the game. Like <laughs> let's be let's be at, at least like as general generalized about the dodges as possible. So I don't like so I don't lose my marbles when he doesn't dodge the way I want him to. So the point is. He's he's playing axe and cannon the same way he would be playing spear, spear and lance, which in this case would just be play for stage. If we can keep him off or just like away from the stage, we'll have a better time. No double whiff, nice. It's like he double whiffs, but like there's gaps between it, so it's so it's double whiff accurate, which is which means that. If he's gonna whiff twice, he's gonna whiff more more so in my direction. Which means he's not really staying in place, but like he's still repeating the attack twice. Nice. 
never been a fan of Canon D lights. I always thought it was really broken. Ew. Ew, why did I why did I rush in like that? I could have gotten killed for sure. Hmm. I'm like building in like a lot of nerves. Let me just focus up. No, no, it happens every time. I cannot have a clean rank session. Come on, bro, I got it, you won. Don't press that rewatch button. Wow, that's actually infuriating.
Easy. Okay. We just extend their stock over good. Wait, this guy's for real? I thought it was BM. Oh my god. Well, that's the that's the end, I think. We went up by five or six ranks. So, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Nothing much else to say except for, well, see ya, I suppose. Today I'm playing rock, paper, scissors with my cat. Rock, paper, scissors.